We are going to be starting uh, project two this week. Uh, we are going to cover what's in chapter 15, which uh, deals with, they, they titled it generating data, but um, basically you are visualizing data. You are going to be uh, bringing in uh, different data sets and creating a variety of charts using those data sets. And I've provided quite a bit more information on Matplotlib and Plotly uh, in the hands-on, uh, basically covering how to create uh, quite a few of the different chart types, uh, the, the ones that you are most likely to use. Uh, there's a video on Matplotlib and PyPlot, which I would say is, uh, three-fourths of what uh, we are going to be covering out of chapter 15. Uh, then the end of chapter 15, uh, you will be using a module called Plotly. Now both Matplotlib and Plotly have to be installed using uh, the command prompt. And what Plotly does is it uh, basically displays your charts in the web browser and it lets you save them as web pages. So it is super cool, but it has its own set of parameters and commands that of course are separate from Matplotlib. So you've basically got two different sets of commands and parameters to learn. Uh, so we start with Matplotlib first. Uh, this video covers that. And then we move on to Plotly, and this video covers that. And then I have a totally separate video for the, the 10 hands-on exercises that you need to do for the lab assignment. So I created a ton of examples, and there's a lot of graphics in here. Um, and most of the examples you guys can copy and paste and you can run them right in VS Code. So the best way to learn this is by doing. So I do have a lot of hands-on in here, but um, if you go through the exercises in here and you do the ones in the book, you will have a pretty good understanding of Matplotlib and Plotly moving forward into next week. Okay, so that's kind of what we've got for this week. Uh, there's 10 hands-on that you're going to complete. And when you're done, you'll push it all up to GitHub and indicate done in the assignment Dropbox. Uh, some of the references that I found useful online, because I did have to use quite a few of them, uh, I've given uh, links to here. And I would say probably about midweek, you will see uh, Lesson 7, uh, Project 2, uh, Part 2 open up. And that will be Chapter 16 and uh, directions for your second milestone project. Uh, we are only going to be doing Chapter 15 and 16. Uh, chapter 16 gets into uh, finding CSV and uh, JSON files online, downloading the data, and pulling those files into your program and generating charts from them. So basically what chapter 16 does is it combines what you know from chapter 10 and chapter 15. So it combines those two, you're gonna be reading files and you're gonna be generating charts. And that's what you're also gonna to have to do in the next uh, term project milestone. So uh, I would say about midweek, uh, look for that because that will be available at that time. Uh, if you have any questions or if you run into problems, let me know and have a great week.